What's going on in the real estate market? Mortgage rates keep spiking, but there have been so many Americans lined up to buy homes that increased costs have not deterred demand. Do we have any signs that that might slow down? Well, we're gonna take a look at what's going on na nationally and what's going on specifically in the Florida real estate market. We're gonna bring you market stats, time frames, and values and prices, and we're starting right now. What's up everybody, I'm Rob Bosner, a local realtor here in Southwest Florida. If this is your first time on my channel and you wanna know everything about eating, sleeping, working, playing, and the real estate market, this is the channel you need to subscribe to. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. And I have people from across the country and around the world reaching out to me every single day and I absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about making a move here to Southwest Florida, you need to take the first step Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, however you want to get in touch with me. I have the systems and processes dialed down to make this transaction as smooth and easy as possible. I have your back when buying or selling property in Southwest Florida. Low inventory and high demand continues to push home prices up in January. A 34.5% increase in new listings sparked 19,277 more showings during January compared to new listings and showings reported in December of 2021. While an increase in new listings demonstrates a solid start for the real estate market this year, low inventory continues to harness the market's potential. Zillow reported nationally that after December's bone dry inventory drought, home shoppers may have been looking ahead to January for listings to be replenished. But home sales evidently did not get the memo. Active inventory dropped 13% from January, the second straight double digit monthly drop and the biggest monthly decline in the past three years. That left active inventory 22% lower than a year ago and 42.4% lower than January 2020, the eve of the pandemic outbreak. The proximate cause of the shortfall was a sharp cutback in the flow of new listings hitting the market, which slackened by 19% from December's rate of new listings. That also puts January's flow of new listings below its two-year comparison month rate for the first time since July, when monthly price appreciation first peaked. That suggests that market conditions are only getting harder for buyers, at least for the time being. As a result of tight inventory, the Naples market saw that January sales activity could not meet the level of sales activity reported in January of 2021. Historically, month-to-month -month sales activity during season ascends through April. But according to Broker Analytics reviewing the two January 2020 market report, a 74.9% decrease in inventory for January to 1,122 homes from 4,474 homes in January of 21. Now, this will provide the same level of sales transactions that occurred last year. Low inventory does not mean there are not opportunities for buyers in 2022. In fact, as expected at the start of season, there was an increase in new listings during January compared to December. So buyers could explore an inventory that included 1,272 new listings. Those new listings translated to a 32% increase in pending sales to 1,373 pending sales during January compared to 1,038 pending sales reported in December. Cash sales exceeded 63% in the Naples area in January, which is a good sign and proof that there is plenty of equity out there in the market. Buyer demand has not slowed down and we're seeing a rise in multiple offer situations once again, as well as home selling for above list price. The overall median close price increased 39% in January to 549,000 up from 395,000 in January of 21. The condominium market continued to report sales at an above list price trend for the second month in a row and a 47.2% increase in median close price in January to 427,000 from 290,000 in January of 2021. The median close price for a single family home rose 25.1% in January to 675,000 from 539,500 back in January 2021. With the ever-increasing price of a home, it is also important to discuss interest rates 
on the rise also. The monthly mortgage payment on a typical U.S. home rose 31% in the last year, the largest one-year climb in at least 22 years as record fast home value appreciation and rapidly rising mortgage interest rates delivered a one-two punch to would-be home buyers with budgets. The average interest rate on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage rose from 2.74% to 3.45% in January 2021 and January 2022, according to the Freddie Mac's primary mortgage market survey. Over the same time, the typical U.S. home grew in value by 19.9%, according to the Zillow Home Value Index, thanks to strong home purchase demand running up against very low inventory of home listings. In January 2021, a buyer purchasing the typical U.S. home, then worth about $271,000, with a 20% down payment and a conforming 30-year fixed rate mortgage at the then prevailing rates would have expected to pay about $885 a month. That's just including principal and interest. But by January, after factoring in home value growth, the typical U.S. home was worth $325,670 in January and higher mortgage interest rates. That same payment has risen 31% to $1,162 a month. Not surprising that monthly mortgage payment is the highest on record, surpassing the previous peak set in July of 2006. That was 1,118 when mortgage rates were a whopping 6.76%. The previous record high on year over year growth in mortgage payments was back in December of 2013, when home prices had begun to rebound from the housing crash lows and the mortgage rates hovered about 4.46%. Back here in Southwest Florida with less than a one month supply of homes, closed sales during January could not realize the level of activity it experienced a year ago and decreased 27.9% to 818 closed sales from 1,134 closed sales back in January of 2021. Pending sales, which reflect the number of new homes under contract, decreased 37.9% to 1,373 from 2,210 in January of 21. But as mentioned above, pending sales in January increased 335 contracts, which is 32%, compared to pending sales reported in December of 2021. So if you're a buyer, don't expect to negotiate the price in this tight market. Homes are being sold at full price or above list price, often without any contingencies on the buyer. Even so, the reality of the situation on the ground is hard to ignore. Home buyers today are making bids and closing deals despite some of the most challenging conditions ever. Record few homes for sale to choose from, priced at double digit gains from last year, financed at sharply rising mortgage rates. It remains to be seen how long buyers can weather this storm and how long homeowners will watch values rise beside, before deciding to finally list. This month's data tells us neither have blinked yet. Expect a sizzling hot spring shopping season. Buying a home in Southwest Florida is a big and fast moving endeavor. That is why there has never been a more important time to work with a professional realtor who can help you write a good contract that protects you and gets the paperwork in order so your sale or purchase goes smoothly. I know a buyer who didn't make the deposit on time and the seller canceled their contract and took a backup offer for $40,000 more. A good realtor can help you avoid situations that might threaten a good opportunity for you. Regardless of when the current seller's market ends, the Southwest Florida area is running out of land to develop. Buyer demand is not likely to slow down anytime soon because homes in the Southwest Florida area are still much more affordable than homes in other parts of the country like California, New York, and Chicago. I don't know if we'll see another 39% increase in the median closed price year over year this year, but we're in a unique area of the world where buyers are willing to pay to live here. I just want to send out a quick message for the following groups of people who might want to consider listing their properties right now if they want to maximize profits before the market shifts or changes. Owners of rental property that require substantial maintenance or who could gain but the same or more profit from the investment dividends. Older homeowners who are future plans include living in a retirement or assisted living community 
empty nesters who don't require that large single family house anymore, second homeowners who would enjoy a profit and can purchase a Naples home closer to retirement. On a national level, annual home growth is projected to continue accelerating through the spring before peaking at 21.6% in May before gradually slowing through January of 2023. More than 6.2 million total existing homes are expected to sell in 2022 nationally. Monthly value growth is also expected to continue accelerating in the coming months, rising to 1.7% in February and growing to 1.9% in April before slowing somewhat. By the end of January 2023, the typical U.S. home is expected to be worth more than $380,000. The robust long-term outlook is driven by our expectations for tight market conditions to continue to persist, with demand for housing exceeding supply of available homes. Thank you for watching my monthly real estate market update video. If you're even thinking about making a move here to Southwest Florida, you need to take the first step. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, however you want to get in touch with me. We have so many people calling us to help them and we absolutely love it. I've developed the systems and processes to make this super easy and stress-free and to give you the best experience possible. And remember, I have your back when buying or selling property in Southwest Florida and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.